my mom left me. She abandoned me at the end of my freshman year of high school. I was living on the bleachers of my school for maybe like four or five months. I'd go down to the water fountain, I'd brush my teeth, I'd put water in my hair to make it look, you know, a little snazzy, and I'd go to class. You know, you couldn't tell the difference at all. But people just think homeless people are just these people that beg for food and look bummy and stink and things like that, but it's different kinds of homelessness. A lot of people don't know that. I've been an addict for quite a while, probably since I was like 13. Never woke up thinking, oh, I'm gonna be an addict someday. I guess when I was little, I always thought like an archeologist or a geologist, maybe an artist. I've, I've done a lot of, you know, work and stuff in different areas. I've had a lot of different jobs. I've worked hard all my life and I'm one of those persons that have worked on a job all his life and when it ends, it ends, everything ends. You know, there's no savings. There's no 401k, there's no stocks and bonds. It's just square zero. Because if you look at me, you can't tell that I'm homeless. But actually, I've been homeless for like four years. I could never lay down on the ground and be comfortable. I have always learned the routes of how to travel on the bus, on the city bus. I would travel from here to downtown LA, to Long Beach, get on the train. And by the time I make a certain type of route, it would be three in the morning and then I would take a bus from downtown back to here, then it would be five in the morning. And then I would try to blend in, you know, but I would be tired all the time. Let me do y'all the cover, take it out. When the, night the hardest part for me was to see people going to work every day and going about their normal routine, and it was like I was invisible. I was invisible. I'm kind of glad that my mom did end up leaving me. I'm glad that I did end up surviving by myself. I'm glad about all these different things because they taught me how to grow up, that life isn't easy. I've met all walks of life that are homeless or have been homeless. And it's not just your average addict or alcoholic. It's like family people or working people that's lost their jobs and everything. By means of 